This is Jason at TransmissionTuner.com. On this video I will show two basic operations for the PCS TCM 2000 controller. How to set up the data logging function and calibrate the throttle position sensor. It's best to create a folder on your desktop or in the documents section of your computer that you can save the data logs to. I'm going to show how to create a folder on the desktop. It's really easy, you just right click, click on new, and folder. You might want to name it data logs. Once that's done, you can connect your USB cable to your computer and turn the key on to your vehicle. Then open up your TCU software. I want to caution everyone not to use this new calibration wizard that often messes guys up, especially if you have a 5R110. That's there for guys like me that are building brand new calibrations for things. But this time we're going to pick this bottom option, Retrieve Calibration from TCU. Click on Data Log, mouse over Start Logging, and click on Start Stop Data Logging. Now we're going to specify a new default location for the program to save the data logs. Click on the C folder, and if your computer has multiple users, like mine does, you'll click on this Users folder. If you don't have multiple user accounts, you should see desktop or a public folder. I'm going to click on this one. And then I'm going to click on the user account that I'm signed in as. That's Tuner. Desktop and data logs. So that's done. Now the first thing to calibrate your throttle position sensor is to get up your monitor screen. And I use control M as in monitor. You can also click on this little icon here. Now in order to move this screen around, you can left click with the mouse on this blue band here and hold it down and then drag it wherever you want it to go. Now I'm going to click on Transmission Setup, Analog Inputs, AD1, and Function. Now as you can see, the throttle position sensor is not calibrated. This is your live voltage at zero throttle. I'm going to add 1 to the last digit of this number and I'm going to put that in this box. 0 0.50. Then I'm going to put the pedal to the floor. Do this with your engine not running, but your key has to be on. And put 4.53. I leave the wide open throttle mode disabled with a zero in this box. The wide open throttle mode doesn't really work very well without a very, very clean tack signal. And it's very difficult to get that. So all of your wide open throttle downshifts can be programmed in the part throttle upshift and downshift tables anyway. So we leave this disabled. It is a really good idea, however, to program some failure values into your throttle position signal. We'll leave the 5 where it's at on the failure value high. 
but we want to adjust the failure value low to a tenth underneath whatever your low throttle position is. So since ours is 0 0.50, we're going to put 0 0.40 in the box. As you can see, sometimes the software changes it to another value. That's okay. Now if you had 0 0.70, you would put 0 0.60 in that box. Just to give it a little bit of buffer there uh, so that it doesn't trigger the failure. Um, because oftentimes there is a little bit of a variation with your low throttle percentage. Uh, voltage value. Now the voltage to assume upon fail I would recommend putting in something pretty close to your 100% value. That's going to make it pretty obvious to you if your TPS fails and it goes to the fail safe value because your shifts are going to be really hard and they're going to be late and then you're going to know that there's something wrong with my throttle position sensor. So we've got that all set up and now you're ready to do some tuning.